Welcome to the zoological world today we will discuss about Boxerdoodle. How to take care of the Boxerdoodle The Boxerdoodle is generally a medium maintenance dog. Many aspects of its personal care will depend on what traits it inherit from the Boxer and Poodle parents. Big, energetic, long-haired dogs will obviously require more care and attention than smaller, short-haired dogs. When you first bring it home, the Boxerdoodle requires an early health checkup, especially as a puppy, and then it should visit the vet at least once a year after that. If you're unsure about any aspect of the dog's care, then you should consult with your vet. Maintenance and grooming the Boxerdoodle needs to be brushed a few times a week to prevent the fur from matting and tangling. If it has longer hair, then the Boxerdoodle will also need semi-regular trimmings a few times every year. The exact frequency of brushes and haircuts will depend on both the length of and consistency of the dog's fur. Other important aspects of the dog's hygiene include regular nail clippings, baths, and ear cleanings. You should also brush the teeth at least once a week to reduce bad breath and minimize the chances of dental problems. Training the Boxerdoodle as an intelligent, playful dog that learns quickly and adapts very well to human commands. This dog has a roaming mind and a tendency to wander around, so regular training sessions will help to instill it with some discipline. Ideally, the best time to train this dog is from the earliest possible age, when its mind is most malleable. It is highly recommended that you rely on positive training methods such as food, toys, and verbal encouragement since negativity might just discourage this rather sensitive soul. If you lack the time or patience to train it yourself, then it's a good idea to enroll your dog in a training program. The Boxerdoodle requires about 30 to 60 minutes of vigorous exercise per day. It is very versatile in the types of activities it enjoys, walking, running, swimming, fetching, toys, and even agility training are all possible. It is a good idea to have a fenced yard or some other wide open space so this dog has the ability to roam freely. The Boxerdoodle will also enjoy accompanying you on any exercise or nature excursions. Just make sure to bring plenty of water and find shaded areas to rest frequently on a hot day. Puppies as with almost any type of dog, it is always recommended that you obtain your puppy from a reputable breeder. Although breeders usually demand a higher price, it is usually worth it in the long run, since the puppies tend to be healthier and better cared for. There are no rescue groups specifically dedicated to the Boxerdoodle, but you might be able to find one at a Boxer or Poodle rescue shelter that also takes in mixes. It is unlikely that you'll find a Boxerdoodle at a general rescue shelter, but it may be worth trying with them as well. Boxerdoodle puppies are quite excitable by nature, but they tend to mellow out a little as they age. Once again, early training will help bring discipline to its life. What is a Boxerdoodle? A Boxerdoodle is a cross between a Boxer and a Poodle. While this may sound like an unusual combination, the Boxerdoodle usually inherits many appealing traits, a friendly temperament, and a lifespan of some 10 to 14 years. But as with any mix or designer dog, the actual characteristics can vary quite a bit between individuals, even within the same litter. Are Boxerdoodles hypoallergenic? The Boxerdoodle does not quite have a hypoallergenic coat, but it is a relatively light shedder that might be suitable for some people with allergies. What is the price of a Boxerdoodle? The price of a typical Boxerdoodle can be anywhere up to $1,500 since it's not a particularly easy dog to find. If the dog has an exceptionally good pedigree from a premium breeder, then it may end up costing even more to own. How big do Boxerdoodles get? Boxerdoodles almost never grow larger than 25 inches at shoulder height and 70 pounds in weight. The size of the Boxerdoodle usually depends on the size of the poodle parent, since poodles themselves vary dramatically in size. They can be toy, miniature, or standard-sized. 